And if you can battle the heat today and you're looking for something good to eat, we have a great idea. The 78th annual Christopher St. Christopher Midsummer Festival happens this weekend and the fun starts at noon. But we are giving you an early sneak peek. AJ Plew and Tom Edwards join us this morning. This is at 16th and Lynnhurst in Speedway. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys are in the kitchen. We're, we definitely are. Lots of work. It's kind of quiet right now, but it'll be uh, a little chaotic here in a couple of hours as uh, the crews come in and start prepping all the food, food that'll be served today. So what do you have in front of you there? I know you mentioned there's a lot of fish to be fried. Yes, we, uh, uh, we have the coney sauce and the barbecue sauces are made from our original 1937 recipes. Mm. Macaroni and cheese, baked beans, coleslaw, cranberry salad, roasted corn. And this year, the big hit has been our uh, Long's Donut Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> Ooh, that looks amazing. What's in those bowls? Is that a salad? Yeah, these are different salads. We have a cranberry mallow salad, a broccoli salad, pasta salad, fruit salad, deviled eggs. We do over 200 dozen deviled eggs in three days. And uh, coleslaw and everything is made from scratch right here at St. Chris. That's amazing. That uh, shortcake looks pretty stellar. So what should folks know if they want a bite of that today? Yeah, everything starts at noon and um, it will be, we'll have food available through about 10 o'clock this evening. And we have free parking and a free shuttle from Speedway High School. So you don't Very have to worry nice. about parking. I know our Chuck Lofton is a big fan. He says that lots of people come out there. What do you think keeps people coming to your event specifically with so many other options? Well, specifically the food. That's what we were, the festival was designed around food and, and quality food. And so we like to have that quality food and Indiana products, as much Indiana products as we possibly can have. Yeah, especially that corn, and I know the money goes back to help the church, right? Yes, the uh, proceeds from the festival help benefit the uh, school buildings and the grounds here at St. Christopher's. Wow. All right, Tom, I know you're kind of on the entertainment side of this. What can folks do if they maybe don't want to eat, which would be crazy? Right, yeah, that would be crazy. They can play in the Monte Carlo. It's a Vegas-style gaming. And then uh, tonight at 8 o'clock, we have Audio Audacity playing live on stage. Um, and then uh, raffle rides, carnival rides in the back lot. So there's plenty, there's something for everyone. Well, we know it's gonna be a warm day out there, so I think you two have the prime spots right now if you can just keep them for as long as possible and you have a little bit of food to taste. So right, we exactly. appreciate you joining us. Good luck today. I know it'll be a great day despite the heat and uh, a lot of folks will go out and join you, especially for the food. Those corn husks were enormous. Oh, they look fantastic. They did, and that shortcake, I mean everything. Yes, everything the shortcake shows. will definitely hit the spot this afternoon. A little ice cream. Yes. Celebrating the day ahead of time for national ice exactly. cream. Yeah. Which is tomorrow. We've been talking about it all morning, though. Yeah, that's right. But I'm sure the whole parish has to, like, really jump in right. to make all that food. It's so cool. They have recipes from the 1930s. Very, very cool it. and delicious still.